Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brad with Spike Fitness and I am in sunny Columbus, Ohio. It's not, sun it's not sunny at all. In fact, it's just snowing kind of miserable. But what's good is I'm here at American Barbell in Pickerton, Pickerton? I'm not sure exactly what the town name is. It's just outside of Columbus. Uh, and this is actually the home gym of John Meadows. Um, so we've been doing some work with him and uh, I want to try to show you this gym, kind of highlight it because you know, it's a new place to train, so if you're ever maybe coming through the area, um, might be something that you want to take a, take a look at as a spot to check out. So let's head on inside and do a little tour of the gym. All right, cool. So we've moved inside, um, and so I just kind of walk around and talk about a couple of different facets of the gym and uh, kind of explain what they have here in case, again, you ever happen to be in the area and want to visit. Um, one of the first things that you see when you come into the gym is this, uh, this turf area. Uh, so this turf area is, is super useful. There's a lot of different training and, and, and um, uh, elements that you can you can do here. You know, we were doing some uh, some yoke stuff. We did some sled stuff. Um, it's just a you know nice nice area of space that you can do a variety of training to kind of add in uh, to your training regimen, uh, kind of whatever you want, right? So doing some sprints, doing some high knees, doing whatever. Like how, however you get down, it gives you that space to be able to kind of to do that. Um, they have a, a rogue yoke and they have the rogue the butcher sleds uh, that you can utilize uh, for various purposes You know here in this space All right, so next up we have this piece of equipment here, which is the Ohio West Side 2.0 by rogue And um, just a heavy-duty bench stand right so it has the it has the West Side spacings so you can get that that fine fine-tuned uh, height adjustment for, for your bench. Uh, it's got plenty of uh, holes for uh, pin pegs um, and it has a Tams uh, Thompson fat pad. So the Thompson fat pad is something that was designed by Donnie Thompson and Rogue and it's essentially just a wider bench pad uh, with a lot of foam padding in there as well and it provides just more support and stability for the shoulders so it helps protect you uh, against like shoulder and, and uh, pec issues. So benching on the fat pad is definitely a, a luxury. So to have this here at the gym is, is something you don't see a lot. It's usually at a, a specifically a powerlifting gym. Uh, so this is a nice piece of equipment that they have here within the gym. All right, so another really unique piece of equipment that they have here at American Barbell is a pendulum squat. So this is something that maybe you're not going to see a lot of. Um, in fact, this is, really, this is really the only one that I've ever seen in a gym. Um, granted, I don't get out that much. Uh, but this is a really great version of a squat. Uh, especially because it takes a lot of that loading off of the spine. So if you're dealing with maybe a back injury or something like that, this might be something that will allow you to kind of continue to squat uh, a little bit more comfortably without all of the, uh, the axial loading that you'd get from a, a, typical, a typical squat. So very useful item for, for anyone that's maybe trying to get into squatting or you know, has some kind of limitation where they can't squat comfortably. All right, so next up, uh, always of interest to me, is some, some deadlifting platforms. So they have a couple deadlifting platforms set up here. I think there's at least one more in the back as well. Um, and they have some deadlift bars. Um, American Barbell utilizes a lot of Rogue equipment. And so they have the Rogue Ohio deadlift bar here for, for use on these platforms, uh, which, is, which is pretty nice. So three good platforms for lots of deadlifting. All right, cool. So something that's super unique that I've actually never even seen before is this piece of equipment right here. And this is essentially a machine safety bar squat. Um, so something like this might be beneficial, uh, specifically if you have like a, a upper, upper arm injury or upper body injury. Uh, so like when I had my bicep tears, this may have been something that would have been great for me to be able to continue to squat and squat comfortably. And the way that this thing works is, uh, you come under it here and stand. And then there's these Safety arms right here, so you just move. And then you, you can choose to hold here or not, or you can choose to you know, hold up here. Just like that. So, um, it also has uh, band pegs uh, down below. So if you want to add in some additional tension with bands and things like that, you can, you can add those on here. Um, this would be a really great uh, piece of equipment for for anyone that wants to develop a little bit of a variety into their training, or again, if you have some kind of a physical limitation and had a hard time squatting uh, at, at a squat stand or, or squat rack, um, this might be a good alternative. All right, so another thing that, uh, that American Marvel has is a lot of arsenal equipment. And one piece of equipment specifically that I, I really like 
is this lateral raise. So the, the, the range of motion and the function on this is just really comfortable. So you can stand and just lateral raise up. Right? And it's just a, a well-built, very smooth operating machine. Um, so, you know, if, if you have a hard time with, with dumbbells being able to control that, something like this might be a good option to develop that shoulder, that shoulder raise, build up the, the caps and the shoulders. Um, and again, just a very well-built machine that uh, kind of stands out as a unique item here in this gym. Because, I, again, I, I don't see a lot of this in, in most gyms. So this is kind of a unique piece of equipment. All right, cool. Another really unique piece of equipment is the pit shark. So the fact that they have one of these, this is typically a, a belt squat, but you can see there's a variety of different things that you can do with it, right? So um, not just, it's not just a one trick pony, multiple ways that you can set up the attachments. In this case, they're using this for some full range of motion uh, rows, uh, but you could also hook up, you know, a belt to it and use it as a, as a belt squat. So pit shark is another thing in a gym that really stands out as a unique piece of equipment uh, that you're not gonna see a lot of. So, like most gyms, right, the access to dumbbells is kind of a big thing. It's something that really differentiates a gym gym from like a home gym, right? Because dumbbells are pretty expensive, um, so it's, it's not always something that you find in your, your home gym. Um, American Barbell has a wide array of, of dumbbells going up to 150, and these are all row of dumbbells, right? So you can see the whole, the whole row of dumbbells. They've got, they've got multiples for most of the weights, which is really cool and convenient and nice for, for training purposes. Um, so that's just kind of a nice facet for, for them to have dumbbells that go up so high, but then also to have you know, so many. All right, so one, one of the last facets that I'm gonna talk about with what they have here is the variety of different bars, specialty bars. Um, so they have the spider bar here. Um, just over here, they have the transformer bar. And then over here, they have a, a couple other bars that are specialty bars. They have, um, they have a camber bar. So this is kind of an older version of the bar. So this is something that uh, was out kind of a long time ago. This is a cat bar, um, but you could use this for rows and say like a, a seal row type of thing, you get a little extra range of motion. You could also use this for bench for extra range of motion. Um, so something like this has been around for a little while. It's probably one of the first versions of like a bent or cambered bar that you'll find. Um, and then obviously there have been other versions uh, since. Uh, they have an earthquake bar right back here, which is really good, especially for rehabilitation stuff or some accessory work to build in uh, stabilization. Um, so if you're recovering from, say, a uh, shoulder injury, upper body injury, um, benching with a uh, earthquake bar is a really good way to kind of re recover and rebuild that stability. And that's something that I definitely use when I had my bicep reattached and was getting back into benching, but couldn't really go very heavy. I would use that earthquake bar with a light load to kind of create that instability and just give me something that I could work on. Um, they have the Rogue, you know, multi-grip bar. Um, so you could use this for a variety of things as well, presses, rows, etc. cetera. Um, but on top of these bars that you see here, you know, they also have the, the Kabuki Cadillac bar. They have the, um, the Kabuki open air um, tra uh, trap bar. So a lot of specialty bars that you wouldn't really find in most gyms. And then aside from that, the, their average barbells here are actually really, really nice as well. A lot of Rogue bars and a lot of um, the, the power bars as well. So just a really good all around, um, you know, uh, I guess complement of bars that you could really, you know, pick and choose what you want to fit your needs. Um, but really there's probably everything you could think that you'd want, you know, here at American Barbell. All right, guys, that's the video kind of walking around doing a little little tour of American Barbell and just hitting some high notes, right? Obviously, I, I didn't touch on everything that they have here. The gym is pretty big. They have, they have a robust cardio section. Uh, they have a, uh, a little section for a nutrition store in here as well. So there, there is quite a lot here, uh, but I just wanted to kind of highlight a few of the, the finer pieces of, uh, of equipment here in the gym that you may not find in just every other gym, right? Some specialty bars, specialty equipment, things like that. So this is definitely a really amazing place to come to if you happen to be in the area. Um, I, would, I would mark it on your list of things to do while, while you're in the Columbus area. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me in the channel with everything that you do. I really do appreciate it. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, come check out a new gym. You got to get in there and train to spite. You're either going to find an excuse, you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find a way. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.